Hey, nice having you here for today's Pilates workout. I'm Lena and this is Lena's Health Lab. Today we are taking it easy. 15 minutes of gently strengthening our body, paying attention to our breathing patterns and activating our powerhouse. We are going to stay on our mat for the entire time. This workout is great for beginners, but of course you can also give it a try if you are already familiar with Pilates and you are trying to take it easy today. Ready? Take off your socks, get on your mat and let's go. Let's start on our backs. Bend your legs and your feet are hip width apart. Your neck is long and nice and the nose points up towards the sky. Now place your hands underneath your belly button. Your palms are on your hip bones, your fingertips on your pubic bone and now make sure that your palms and your fingertips are on the same height. Our spine stays neutral. With the next exhale place your hands onto your lower rib cage, fingertips pointing to each other and begin to breathe into the sides and the back of your rib cage. Activate your powerhouse. Slightly tighten your pelvic floor, bring your belly button towards the spine and it feels like we close our lower rib cage. Breathe in and out. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Your shoulders are away from your ears and you close your lower rib cage for more time. I want you to hug your abs in. On the next exhale, reach your hands up towards the sky, palms are facing each other and your shoulder blades are still on the ground. With the next inhale, extend your right arm behind your head, your left arm towards your feet. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, alternate. Your left arm goes towards your head, right arm towards your feet and back to center. Always alternate and make sure your powerhouse is activated. Look up towards the sky and straighten your arms as much as you can. Inhale, lower your arms down. Exhale, reach your fingertips up high towards the sky. Your belly stays firm while you focus on the movement of your arms. One more time and then we are going to place our hands on the opposite shoulder. Cross your arms, place your hands onto your shoulders. Your elbows are pointing towards the sky. Bring your right leg up to a 90 degree angle, left one as well. Inhale, tap your right big toe onto the mat and with the exhale, bring it up back to center. Inhale, lower your left one. And with your exhale, move it back up. Always switch, right, left. Focus on your breathing patterns. Focus on your powerhouse. And just move your leg out of your hip bone, down and exhale up again. Our entire back is on the ground. Lower down. Good. Now drop your right foot and then the left one as well. Bring your hands down onto the ground. Shoulders away from your ears and with your next exhale, bring yourself up into a shoulder bridge. Move yourself up vertebra by vertebra. Bring your pubic bone in towards your nose. Inhale, stay up there. And with your next exhale, lower down vertebra by vertebra. Take your time. Drop your butt down. Inhale. Exhale, move it up. Your feet are parallel and hip width apart. Really root your feet down into the ground to push yourself even higher and also push your hands down onto the ground. If you do feel any compression in your lower back, don't move your butt too high. Move slowly. And maybe I'm too fast for you, then just do it in your own pace. That's totally fine. Bring your hips up. And with your exhale, lower down. Feel how you are able to articulate your spine. 
This exercise is great to work for your glutes, for your hamstrings. Lower down. Two more times and then we are going to interlace our fingers behind our head for chest lift. Push yourself up. Lower down. And just one more time. Exhale, lift yourself up as high as you can without overarching your lower back too much. And then lower down. Drop your butt. Stay here. And then interlace your fingers behind your head. Your head is heavy in your hands, so let your arms work at the same time. Open up your elbows wide. Open up your collarbones. And with your next exhale, lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Curl yourself up. Stay here for a sec. And make sure your spine is neutral, so there's still space between your lower back and the mat. If it's too difficult for you, then just imprint. Then push your lower back onto the ground. Exhale, lift yourself up and inhale, lower down. Keep your hips still and just move your upper body. You could always bring your fist between your chin and your collarbones. That's how much space you have between it. Exhale, lift your head up, lift your shoulder blades, inhale, lower down. That keeps you working into your abdominals. Exhale, lift, three more to go. Lower down, two more. One last time and then we are going to drop our head on the ground. Lower down, bring your hands right next to your hip. And now bring your legs back up into a 90 degree angle, one by one. Right leg up, left one next to the right one. Your knees are stacked above your hips. Slightly point your toes and now bring your right hand against your right thigh. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. With your next inhale, reach long with your left leg, with your left arm and exhale, bring it back together. Inhale, reach long, straighten your arm, straighten your leg. And at the same time, push your right hand against your right thigh. Your hand is quite close to your knee. Inhale, straighten your left arm, straighten your left leg. And exhale, bring it back together. We engage our core the entire time. Bring your belly button in and really push your lower back onto the ground. Breathe into the sides and the back of your ribcage two more times. And then we are going to switch sides. One more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Now drop both of your feet down and just spiral from one side to the other. Bring your knees from right to left, left to right, whatever feels good for you right now. Good. And then bring your legs back up into a 90 degree angle. Knees right above your hips. Point your toes. Now push your left hand against your left thigh. Right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach long with your right arm, with your right leg. Exhale, back together. Inhale. And exhale, back together. Really push your hand against your thigh. You should feel how your abdominals are working the entire time. Your lower back stays on the ground four more times. Exhale, back to center. Make sure your belly button does not come up. Two more times. And one more. Great job. Drop your feet and then just grab right underneath one of your thighs and roll yourself up. Move onto your sitting bones. Grab your shins. Make yourself as round as you can. Bring your feet up away from the mat. Inhale, rolling like a ball, lower down until your shoulder blades. And with your exhale, lift yourself up. Make yourself as round as you can. You always want to stay in this nice little C curve. Inhale, lower. And exhale, balance on your sitting bones. Don't drop your feet on the ground. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift four more times. Look down towards your belly button, point your toes. Just two more. One more time and then we are going to move onto all fours. Drop your feet down. Great job. Turn around. 
and bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, your knees right underneath your hips. Engage your powerhouse, belly button in, tighten your pelvic floor. And so this next movement, I can't see, but you should feel it. You should feel how you engage your core, exhale, really activate your powerhouse and pull your hands and knees together. Inhale, release. It's a feeling of you pull the floor together. Exhale, activate your powerhouse, really pull your hands and knees together and with your inhale, release. Close your lower rib cage, look down to the ground, spread your fingers, elbows slightly tucked in. Good job. Untuck your toes, drop your butt onto your heels, stay there. Your arms are long and nice on the ground. Exhale, lift your right arm as high as you can and look towards your right fingertips. Inhale, lower down. And with your next exhale, switch sides. Open up your arms wide. Exhale, lift. Stay tall in your back and lean forward. Exhale, lift. It's a great exercise to mobilize our back. Exhale, lift four more times. Spread your fingers wide. Make this movement as big as you can two more times. Inhale, drop your hand. Exhale, lift your left arm. Drop down. Move yourself back onto your forearms and then lower down into prone position. Drop your head onto your hands. Point your toes. Now activate your powerhouse while being on your belly. Belly button in and up and push your pubic bone slightly down. Feet are hip width apart, point your toes and with your next exhale lift your right leg as high as you can without losing the control of your powerhouse. Left one up. Always switch sides. Exhale right one, lower down, exhale left one. Straighten your leg as much as you can. Feel how you work into your butt, into your hamstrings and if you want to, lift your head up. Look down onto the ground, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Two more times. Just one more. And lower down again. Now open up your arms sideways. Your elbows are on the same height like your shoulders or a little lower. You decide for yourself. Palms are facing down. If you feel comfortable, lift your head up, look down to the ground, slightly tuck your chin in and bring your hands up and lower down again. Exhale, lift your arms up, shoulder blades slightly together and lower down. It's a controlled movement. Do it as slow as you can. Exhale, lift and lower. Feel how your shoulders are working, how your arms are working. Exhale, lift. Don't forget your powerhouse. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Just one more and then bring your hands right next to your chest. Bring yourself back onto your heels and stay in this nice little child's pose. Straighten your arms and start to breathe into your belly. So just relax here. Breathe in and out. Just stay here for a few seconds until you go back onto all fours. Your knees are hip width apart and now circle your butt back from one side to the other. Alternate. Keep your arms straight and just do whatever feels good for you right now. Mobilize your spine, mobilize your hips. Make this movement as big as you want. Push your butt back and then lift yourself up just two more times. One more and then we are going to stay centered. Stay here. Now lift your left arm and bring it underneath your right one. Drop your shoulder, drop your head, open up your collarbones. Your butt stays up high. and just breathe.
With your next exhale, place both hands again on the ground and then alternate. Right arm long underneath the left one. Your head is on the ground. You open up your chest. Keep breathing. Exhale, lift yourself up again. Drop your butt onto your heels, roll your shoulders down your back and you're done for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments how you feel after this workout. If you enjoyed it, please take the time to briefly give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out our channel a lot. A big, big thank you goes out to our patrons. If you want to support this channel too, you can find the link in the description. Stay healthy and see you next time. Lena Thank you.